Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Driving Around the Greater Seattle Area Looking for Food. That's what I'm going to title this series. Anyway, when I moved here, I came up with a list of food places I really, really want to hit. So let's just hit them one by one together. First stop, breakfast noodles. I don't know what it is. Those two words just gets me excited. If you just tell me, let's go have breakfast, I'd be like, eh, all right. But if you tell me we're going to go have breakfast noodles, automatically tingle everywhere, goosebumps. This is their nine way noodle. Contains peanuts, pork. That's one of these. Looks good. They said their noodles are good. And they said that this is good. So, this is like a hot pot thing that they have. I'm excited to try this. So, I got two different types of noodles. Super paranoid. It's got to wipe off all the containers. First glance, these look like handmade noodles. A little bit of chilies, some pork, cilantro. Yeah, these are definitely handmade noodles for sure. I think this one is the uh, is the chili sauce. These are the beef and chili noodles. Wow, they look so good. Beautiful stretch noodles, loads of beef. You see now why I say that just breakfast alone, it's not enough, but when you say breakfast noodles, it gets me every single time. It smells so good. I'm gonna make a prediction, bold prediction. I might like this. Mm. Solid, solid, at least a nine out of 10. These are some beauty pageant quality noodles. Wow. I would let this represent me in the Miss Noodle Galaxy contest. Oh, these are, these are amazingly good. Temple noodles. Got that great chew, and the flavor is amazing. It's nummy. It's a citron based flavor. A lot of you guys in the comment section ask me what nummy means. It means like it makes your mouth, your lips like tingle a little bit, and that sensation goes perfectly with something spicy. So it's spicy, it's nummy, it's very citron, classic citron flavor. Beef is good. Wow. Aggressively, aggressively seasoned. Mm. Cilantro brings a nice bit of fragrance. Some extra heat is brought by these little chilies as well. This place is called Jiu Wei, which in Chinese means like lingering flavor. And that is 100% true. I love every single thing about these noodles. Oh, look at this. There's fermented bean sauce here too. And I think they make this in-house. So this is gonna give it an extra depth of flavor. Some just extra umaminess. But no matter how you slurp it, these are gonna make you happy. I'm so happy I started my day off with this. What's off? You can't eat this. It's gonna make you chubby. After hearing that, the bee left. I'm gonna try my pork noodles now. A little bit of peanuts, sky and cilantro. And I love how red all these uh, noodle sauces are. Mmm, that's really, really, really good. I might like this even more. They are not shy with these sauces. Again, loads of meat, sauce covers every single strand, making it all pretty, all so pretty. These are the regular Xiaowei noodles. You cannot go wrong with either one of these. Um, the beef noodles are gonna be nummier and spicier, but if you can't handle the spice, go ahead and get this. It's a little milder, slightly milder but the spicy flavor is still ever so present delicious solid 9 out of 10. i don't even know what's better the springy fresh noodles or that amazingly flavorful meat sauce oh so good i wanted to get their hot pot but they told me it's something that's really good to eat at home and not to eat outside so um, i still want to go visit a few places maybe on my way home if the noodles are this good i can imagine hot pot must be amazing that was perfect. Exactly what I needed. I was like 50, 60% awake until that. Those should be called alarm noodles. You eat them, your taste buds wake up, your tongue wake up, your whole body wakes up. Way better than that whole beep, beep, beep stuff, right? 
All right, breakfast number two, here we come. And on the way there, just a big shout out and thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video and continuing to support my channel. And I've been saying this for a while now, especially in this day and age where everything's online, everything's digital, you really need a VPN to protect yourself. If you don't know, a VPN is a virtual private network and I'm sure we've all experienced this where you're typing in a, a keyword or a brand name or something into a search engine or chatting with a friend about it and all of a sudden on your Facebook, on your browser, your phone, corresponding ad for whatever you just talked about start popping up everywhere. That's because people be spying on you. And what a VPN does is that it encrypts all the data that you're sending through the internet so no one is seeing anything that you don't want them to see. Also Surfshark has hack lock IDs so when someone is trying to get into something like your email, you're going to get alerted right away. And finally, another reason you should have VPN is the amount of video content, amount of shows you will be able to access with it. I don't know if you know this, but different countries, Netflix has different video catalogs. So when I was traveling, every single country I went to, Netflix would change. But if you have the VPN, you will be able to have access to movie catalogs or show catalogs that are not accessible in your current country. And those of you who don't live in the US, you can actually get a Hulu account. Hulu has a lot of good stuff. And finally, it's so affordable. If you want to try out Surfshark VPN, they have a special offer. If you go to the link below, Use my promo code Mikey Chen. You're gonna get 85% off the regular price and you're gonna get three months for free and you're gonna get a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied for whatever reason, get your money back and go buy a bubble tea. Actually, probably half a bubble tea because bubble teas are expensive now. All right, we're here at the second place. I like this little plaza. Let me show you why. I come to this plaza like almost every other day. First of all, it's got the Asian Family Mart, which is where I do most of my shopping. I think that's the biggest uh, Chinese grocery store around Bellevue. And I'm going to go in there today. This, that's an Indian supermarket. I want to go try to find some Indian instant noodles. And all around here, uh, besides the, you know, the Sharon Williams store, it's all Asian restaurants. Luna Bistro. So I walked by this place few days ago and I see like these bamboo steamers and they got all these like meats and, and that stuff in there. Let's go eat one. This restaurant is pretty empty so I'm just going to eat here because uh, when you eat here they serve it to you in this cool little bamboo steamer. So I did a mixed steamer so I have the, uh, this is my favorite, lap chong, Chinese sausage, one of my favorite things in the world and this is the spear rib, garlic spear ribs and this is, yeah, that's not important. Perfect little hard-boiled egg. And this is all sitting on a bed of lotus leaves. Mm. Oh, this is good. Mmm, everything's good. From the soft steamed egg, savory sweet Chinese sausage. Mmm, garlic ribs are tremendous. My parents watched this, so I, I gotta eat some vegetables. Rice is not sticky rice. So typically, if you go to dim sum, the lotus leaves are wrapped around sticky rice, usually with chicken inside. This is just jasmine rice, but the flavor with the meat and the sauce is so gratifying. And then with the Chinese sausage, it's savory, it's a little sweet, tons of umami flavor. And the fragrance of the lotus leaf is definitely steeped into this dish. All my praises goes to the garlic ribs. I mean, so garlicky, so tender. Oh, Fuji VPN. They gave me this. This is the uh, husband and wife lung slices. Hmm. A really popular Chinese dish. Meat, meat, and more meat. Love it. If this was a dating profile, you take one look and be like, that thing checks up a lot of boxes. So color, flavor, aroma, texture. So the ribs are soft, but the lap chow has a great chew to it. I would definitely recommend coming and trying this. I will 100% be back. I really like this. This is kind of like eating a, um, a steamed version of a clay pot rice. very happy. I've never been inside an India supermarket. Oh my god, look at all the Indian frozen food. Dumplings too. 
Coconut dumplings. Hot ramen masala. Ching secret. Oh, I've never seen these instant noodles before. Oh, this is so cool. Maggie Ching noodles. I heard this is the one that someone suggested I need to try. Alright, let's take it in the beef. This dude seems to be enjoying it. I'm so excited about this. I've never tried Indian instant noodles before. I'm legit, like, just giddy on my stomach. And it's raining. Oh, even the rain gods wants to celebrate this special occasion. There's something I've been craving, and I won't be happy until I have it. Won't be happy at all. Hello, old friend. Thank you. Ice cream tea with cream cheese foma, 30% sugar, less size so you can maximize the economic value. Ah, so good. Mm, now I'm happy. This is a pizza truck and, whoa, they got a brick oven in the middle of their truck. Eating pizza in the rain. Gotta say, I don't think I've ever done this before. <laughs> and this kind of reminds me of a Neapolitan pie. See all the little bubble crust and the little beautiful char marks on the bottom? This is really good. Mm. My only complaint, a bit on the saltier end, but make no mistake, this is good pizza. I've had pizza in all depth meccas of pizza like New York and Rome and Naples. This is good pizza. If it wasn't so salty, it'd be even better. But that might just be because I ordered every single meat they had on the menu. But the key thing for me is how melting your mouth this crust is. This tastes almost like a Neapolitan crust, which really is supposed to dissolve in your mouth. That's so good. Mmm. The crust is airy, fluffy, and once you get through the outside crunch, seriously, that thing just melts. God. Ingredients are good quality. I like that little crispy part of the pepperoni. This is a good pizza. Mm, yeah, come here and give these guys a try. I wouldn't recommend getting maybe what I got because all these meats that are all salted, it is a bit too salty. But, and I don't often say this, actually I don't think I've ever said this, if you get this with less meat, it'll be better. Just got home, showered, changed, hungry again. Let's try out those instant noodles. This is a very simplistic bowl of instant noodles. Mm, that's definitely curry. So far, the flavor is okay. Um, it's said to add like a cup and a half of water. I feel like it's too much water. I feel like maybe one cup of water maximum. Otherwise, the flavor gets diluted a lot. I think overall flavor is good. Spicy curry flavor, I like that. But it does get diluted a lot by the water, so it's not really flavorful enough. Noodles, I feel like, it's just regular instant noodles. There's nothing really special about these noodles. Overall, I mean, it's okay. Not something I really love. All right, let's try this. Oh, same size instant noodles, kind of small. I added less water this time. So this is a Sichuan flavor. Very spicy. Very, very spicy. This one's much better. Maybe because I put less water in here. Like they tell you to put a, a cup and a half of water 
don't do that. I say one cup of water maximum. It's very spicy, but it's not a lot of other flavors to it. So it's just kind of one dimensional spicy. Not bad. Definitely not one of the best instant noodles I've had, but I'm glad I was able to try it. This is an instant noodle that is for sure worthy of a ice cream afterwards because it will hurt your tongue. Mm. What a fantastic day today. Every single thing I had today was like a gift from the food gods. So amazing. The first noodle place, chill noodle, uh, so good. That was an amazing bowl of noodles. And the steamed rice and rice meal, so unique. Never had anything like that before. Really, really tasty. In that pizza place, until I find something better, if it even exists in this area, that's my go-to pizza place now. I finished it and I already miss it. Anyway, guys, as always, all the places I went to, listed down below for you. If you can, definitely go out and support your local small businesses. Keep them alive, keep them floating. Give them as much support as you can during these crazy times. As always, thank you all so much for watching. See you later.